Hi, hello, welcome to VSTL Basics. Today we are going to see about uh, how to generate a 84.55 MHz frequency clock in Verilog test bench. Also, syntax for the time scale and how it will be impact our test bench. This is the syntax for time scale, backtick, time scale, time unit divided by time precision. In this particular example, I am taking time unit as 1 nanosecond, time precision as 1 picosecond. How to generate the 50 percentage uh, duty cycle uh, clock. So here uh, 84.55 is our uh, clock frequency, right? So uh, we need to convert that into time period and divided by 2 we need to take to generate the 50 percentage uh, duty cycle clock. 5.913 into 2 is 11.826 is the time period. If you reciprocal that uh, you will get the frequency 84.55 megahertz. So after the simulation result, if you measure uh, uh, passage of the clock and uh, next, uh, if you calculate the uh, delta for first passage and the next passage, right, uh, you will get 84.5 megahertz. In this uh, next example, I am changing precision as one nanosecond. If you take, uh, uh, we are having uh, three digit after the decimal point actually. It will be round off in this particular example since uh, we are having one nanosecond as a precision. So it will be six, six into two, 12. So 12 nanosecond is the our clock frequency. If you invert that, uh, uh, 83.33 megahertz. So we will get the same frequency in our test bench result also. So this is how it will uh, time scale and time precision will be impact our uh, test bench. Thank you for watching this video like and share with your friends subscribe this channel for more videos